around it, you know, and thinking about the next point. Uh, I knew coming into the match that Nick is a very dangerous player, uh, particularly on grass. Novak Djokovic is a Serbian professional tennis player. He's currently ranked world number six in singles by the Association of Tennis Professionals. He's been ranked world number one for a record total of 373 weeks and has finished as the year-end number one a record seven times. He's won 21 Grand Slam men's singles titles, including a record nine Australian Open titles. Overall, he's won 88 ATP singles titles, which include a record 64 big titles and a record 38 Masters titles. He's the only player to complete the career Golden Masters on the ATP Tour, which he's done twice. Also because they're so tall, but for someone, somebody that is not so tall as these guys, he's got probably the best serve that I ever faced. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Novak Djokovic, but he's also known as Joker. The Joker, Noel, the Serbinator. He was born May 22, 1987 in Belgrade, Serbia, making him 35 at the time of this production. He stands 1.88 meters or 6 feet 2 inches tall. Djokovic is a fan of Serbian football club Red Star, Italian club Milan, and Portuguese club Benfica, as well as Serbian basketball club Red Star. Novak Djokovic is considered one of the most complete players in tennis with no real weak points in his game. He's known for his ability to return serves and he's rarely aged. In 2007, Djokovic founded the Novak Djokovic Foundation. The organization's mission is to help children from disadvantaged communities grow up and develop in stimulating and safe environments. Djokovic is a member of the Champions for Peace Club, a group of famous elite athletes committed to serving peace in the world through sport. It was created by Peace and Sport, a Monaco-based international organization. He claims in his book, Serve to Win, that adopting strict gluten and dairy-free diet helped take him from the brink of failure to the champion of the world. Djokovic has been reported to meditate for up to an hour a day at the Buddhist Buddha Padipa Temple in Wimbledon. Novak Djokovic met his wife, Jelena Ristik, in high school. He later started dating her in 2005. The couple was married in 2014, and that year they had their first child. They later had another child in 2017. He's also friends with Anna Ivanovic, a Serbian tennis player who he's known since childhood. It's particularly in the first set and a half, it was just so uh, difficult to read because he just always tosses in the same spot. He can hit all the angles. He was raised alongside two brothers. Djokovic first started playing tennis at the age of four. As a six-year-old, he caught the eye of Yelena Gencic, who immediately saw the young boy's potential. Yelena Gencic then personally trained Djokovic over the next six years until she sent him to Germany to train under Nikola Pilek. He trained for four years at Pilek's Academy, beginning his junior career partway through his tennis education. Novak Djokovic turned pro in 2003, but didn't make his first Grand Slam appearance until 2005 after qualifying for the Australian Open. That year, he also performed well at Wimbledon and at the US Open. By 2006, he'd reached the top 40 in the world rankings. That year, he won his first ATP title at the Dutch Open. A further win at the Macelle Open put Djokovic in the top 20. In 2007, he broke into the top 10 for the first time. In 2008, he won his first major title with a victory at the Australian Open. To finish off the year, Djokovic won an Olympic bronze medal and his first tennis Masters Cup title. In 2009, he consolidated his position as the third-ranked tennis player in the world after reaching 10 finals and winning five titles. 2010 was another successful year for Djokovic, and by 2011, he'd claimed the number one spot on the world rankings for the first time. He came back strong in 2012, winning the Australian Open once again. After another impressive season, he finished the year by beating Nadal at the 2012 ATP World Tour Finals. In 2016, his lead in points over his rivals was becoming almost unassailable. That year, he won all four major tournaments, completing what the media called the Knoll Slam with his first round win at the 2022 Wimbledon Championships against Kwon Soon Woo. Djokovic became the first player in history, male or female, to win 80 matches at all four Grand Slams. 
In his post-match press conference after winning the Wimbledon final, Djokovic indicated he still does not intend to receive the COVID-19 vaccination, making him unable to play in the 2022 U.S. Open. On July 20th, 2022, the U.S. Open released a statement noting that while they do not have their own vaccine mandate, the U.S. government does not allow unvaccinated non-U.S. citizens to enter the country. As a result of this policy, on August 25th, Djokovic announced that he would not take part in the tournament. Result can go both ways, that I just need to stay mentally there, present, and not really lose the concentration, which, which happened and, and it helped in the end. Novak Djokovic has earned more money from on-court winnings than any other player in professional tennis history. His career earnings topped $150 million for the first time in July 2021. In 2011, he set a new record for the most prize money won in a single season, raking in $12 million. In 2012, Novak signed a five-year brand ambassador deal with Uniqlo that was reportedly worth 8 million euros a year. In addition, Djokovic has signed deals with brands such as Mercedes-Benz and Seiko. In 2017, he ended his deal with Uniqlo and became a brand ambassador for Lacoste. Between June 2017 and June 2018, Novak earned $24 million from salary and endorsements. Between June 2018 and June 2019, he earned a whopping $50 million. Between June 2019 and June 2020, he earned $45 million. He has a net worth of $220 million. His houses are located on the continents of Europe and North America. He has a house in Monte Carlo, Monaco. In 2020, the athlete bought a unit in Miami Beach's posh 87 Park building, which was designed by Pritzker Prize-winning architect Renzo Piano. Djokovic's pad has three bedrooms and three bathrooms, as well as a ton of amenities, including white glove concierge service, two private swimming pools, an underground spa, a sauna, a fitness center, a wet bar, and amazing views of the park, as well as the ocean in Biscayne Bay. In 2017, he bought not one but two apartments at 565 Broom in New York City for $10.1 million. Both are located in the Big Apple Soho neighborhood, but the units are not next to one another, therefore he can't combine them. The penthouses feature heated oak flooring throughout, a huge kitchen with lava stone countertops, and top-of-the-line appliances, custom-made furniture, and floor-to-ceiling windows offering stunning views of the Manhattan skyline. In 2020, he decided to shift his home base to Spain, so he and his family moved to their mansion in Marbella. The $10 million abode is a Moroccan-style villa with nine bedrooms and eight bathrooms. Its amenities include scenic views of the sea and mountains, a home gym, a swimming pool with jacuzzis, a sauna, a private spa, a Turkish bath, and of course, a tennis court. He owns the following cars, a Bentley Continental GT, a Mercedes-Benz S500, an Aston Martin DB9 Volante, an Audi R8, a Tesla Model X, a Peugeot E208.